What is up, YouTube? I have an unboxing for you people here today. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. It is a one-hour tease unboxing. This is from uh, the Pro Wrestling Crate uh, You Fucked Up box. It is just a collection of stuff, I believe, over the years of stuff that they just have hanging around, some leftover things. I don't exactly remember how much stuff is in here. I know it's like it was $70, 17 items, I believe, but I don't know how it all uh, ships out. Most of its stuff is going to be t-shirts, some autographs, some pins, I think, and maybe some like little figures or some toys or something like that. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, if you've noticed, I've been posting some clips of a podcast I am doing with my friend Dominic. Uh, if, if you want to check it out, most of those are just clips, but we do usually do one once a week for about an hour or so. We do sports and wrestling. I'm also a part of another podcast called The Bullet Cast. If you want to check that one out, I'll leave the descriptions in both of those shows down below. Uh, we're on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, basically all the places you can get uh, podcasts. You can get those. The Bullet Cast also has its own YouTube channel where they post most, I think, basically all of them. Usually the main show is the only one that has an actual video, but all the audio formats are posted up on there. So let's just get into it. So I am opening it up right now. And we have the receipt. Oh, boy. There's a lot of miscellaneous stuff. It's not really packed in. So we have the receipt here. Uh, the comes from Pro Wrestling Tees, but One Hour Tees, all the same company. So, yeah, 70 bucks for this, as well as I paid 10 bucks for the uh, Double or Nothing raffle. A dollar, a raffle ticket to get two front row seats at Double or Nothing. I'm already going to Double or Nothing on the uh, Memorial Day weekend. So I believe I'm probably going to do some... Uh, at least one vlog, maybe a daily vlog like I used to do on the show. So maybe not a full resurrection of this channel, but I'll come back every now and then and maybe do some stuff. So check out for that. And uh, so I, I don't exactly know where to start. Let's just let's just set it down here, and I'll just kind of pick out some of the I'll pick out the little things first before we do some of the big things. So uh, all right, so we have some micro brawlers. I don't I never had any of these before, but. Two guys, I actually know who they are. So we have Bad Boy Tomatonga right there. Little little figure. I don't exactly know. Let's see. Let's open it up and I never really... I've seen them, but I don't exactly know how they work exactly what they are. So I assume they're like a little toy. Uh, they're just kind of rubbery. They stand up. So just kind of something cool to put around. Just have some lay around in the room. Don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but uh, that's cool. So we have another one. Right here we have Ray Phoenix, part of the Lucha Bros. He will be at Double or Nothing facing the Young Bucks in that tag team match. Probably the match I'm looking forward to the most at this moment just because they've been doing a good job building it up. And in ring-wise, it's going to be really good. I've seen Ray Phoenix before. Him and uh, Pentagon go to APW. There's a show next weekend on um, was it March 30th at APW. So I'll be there along with my uh, co-host, Philip, who's the host of the bullet cast so if you want to come say hi check us out so let's see we got some more stuff this one actually looks pretty cool we have some headphones we have the rock and roll express earbuds so uh i don't regret i don't like these types of earbuds they're the buds that actually like, go inside the ear i don't really like them they don't really i don't know why it's either i'm just too stupid to actually fit them in my ear i just they don't fit my ear all that well so they're just kind of standard just earbuds just like that there's no brandy, no like Rock and Roll Express thing on them, so I mean, it was seventy bucks. The, let's just say that I got this for free, so who really cares? I mean, the packaging's cool, so good for that. Uh, we have a pin. We have a kayfabe news pin. Wrestling referee fails to catch his wife cheating. Blah blah blah. blah. So it's a pin. And it says kayfabe news. It's not fake news. It's predetermined. Kind of funny, you know, playing off of cultural news, you know, pop culture stuff. Uh, let's see, we have a sticker here. We have a Lanch Archer sticker. Maybe just slap that on my water bottle or my laptop. No pro wrestling tea uh, sticker that I can find. So, let's see, another pin. We have a Dude Love pin, a pro wrestling crate exclusive. This one's pretty cool. I might have to throw that on my little lanyard for my is access pin so let's see what else we got here we have 
something that kind of popped out for me. Talk, Steen, Talk. The Kevin Owen, the Kevin Steen, sorry. Shoot interview. This is from uh, highspots.com. It says, Kevin Steen, no holds barred attitude in ring and on the microphone. So basically just a shoot interview. So check, have to check that out. We have another shoot interview, it looks like. We have two. We have In the Ring with Luna Vachon. Another High Spots DVD. That one seems pretty cool. And then we have The Best Friends with Chuck and Trent. Popping Dogs and Talking Hogs with Teddy Hart. So another kind of shoot interview. I have the Kevin Steen show with the Young Bucks, so I assume it's basically just something like that. Just, you know, some friends talking. And what is this? This one's, we have a pocket knife. A wrestling pocket knife. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got in here. So, oh, crap, I already broke it, I think. God damn it. So what does it say? The last real man's pocket knife. So it's a Silas Young pocket knife. So that's, if I can put that in frame right there, if you can see that. My hand's blocking it, so I can't even see where the screen is. So, I mean, I have a pocket knife already. It's not, let's see how sharp, is it really like, yeah, it's pretty sharp. It's does its job, I guess. It's kind of small though, so. I mean, this is the thing I opened up the box with compared to this. It's, it's, a, it's a little baby one, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, let's see, you got down at the bottom here, what is this? Oh, these are the, so these are the autographs. I'll save these for last. And we have some t-shirts, so I believe they're just two regular t-shirts and one botched t-shirt, so when they mess up on the uh, paints or stuff like that. So this one, a pro wrestling t-shirt. This one, is this a boogeyman shirt? Oh no, it's a gold dust shirt. You will never forget the yes, it's so it's like a zombie gold dust shirt, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. At first I thought it was like a Pentagon Junior shirt, but it's a gold dust shirt. So all these I mean, I didn't really care what shirts they were. I'm probably just gonna wear these to the gym or just wear to bed or something like that. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this one. We have a Hulk Hogan running wild t shirt. Don't know if I'm going to wear this one out in public. Maybe just wear this one to bed. So, I mean, technically, it's a pretty cool shirt, so you never know. Ooh, and then here we go. This one looks pretty cool. The one probably the worth the most in value. We have Matt and Nick Jacksonville. This one, I think this one is the botched one. It does kind of seem a little misprinted, like, on the side, but definitely cool. Maybe something I'll take to double or, not, or nothing. Maybe get them to sign this. So, uh, you know, Matt... Nick the Jacksonville, so obviously playing off on the all-in, or the uh, AEW group with Tony Khan being the owner or partial owner with his dad of the Jacksonville Jaguars. So three pretty cool shirts, definitely the Matt and Nick one is my favorite. So now we have some autographs. Don't know how many autographs are in here, so let's just bang this out and see what we got. Uh, turned them upside down, I have three, it looks like. And so number one, we have a Tully Blanchard one. And it says, I think it, that's supposed to be the date. I don't exactly know what's there at the bottom. So we have a Tully Blanchard. I don't exactly know what those numbers are supposed to represent, but I don't know. So that one's, that one's cool. That one's cool. Let's see, we have a number two. Someone I've already met before I met her at WrestleCon. We have a Molina one. Molina, one of my favorite women's wrestlers out there. So definitely going to add this one to the collection. Very sensual photo i might add so let's see the last thing in this you fucked up box is a greg the hammer valentine bada boom signed eight by ten so cool i mean we got some two old school ones and melina kind of old school from 10 years ago so that's it so overall pretty pretty good haul i would say a lot of just miscellaneous stuff i would say my favorite item out of everything is probably this shirt and then probably this dude love pin. This dude love pin is pretty cool. But overall, it, I mean, 70 bucks. Don't exactly know what I was going to get. Maybe a little bit underwhelming because it's just a whole bunch of just kind of random things thrown together. But can't complain. Uh, th so that'll do it for me for today. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Not going to do any promises. Probably not going to do a whole lot of unboxings like this. I don't really buy that much wrestling stuff in bulk like this anymore. Usually I'll just go down a Hot Topic, grab a t-shirt or two. So don't know the next time I'll do this. Maybe in another three years I'll pop, I'll 
take the dust off my YouTube channel and pop in a video like this. So I definitely am thinking about doing a vlog for the all double or nothing show in Vegas. So if you want to see me do that, let me know in the comments down below. So thank you all very much for tuning in. And until next time for the next three years, have a good one.